Hey everyone, welcome to the show. Uh, today we're going to be doing some number patterns, uh, more specifically quadratic sequences. So, by definition, quadratic sequences are sequences that has a number in which the second difference is common. Right? That's that's probably like the best way to explain it. But what's that, what does that actually mean? So, I, I have this uh, quadratic equation that I have set up already. So it is. 1, 2, 4, 7, 11, and so on. So, how do we get from 1 to 2? We add 1, right? Plus 1. But then how do we get from 2 to 4? We add 2. And from 4 to 7, you can see where I'm going with this, it's going to be adding 3. And then over there, what is prize? Adding four. So this level here is known as our first difference, right? That the first difference. Let's put that in brackets. And then we can see once again, because none of these numbers are common, that there is actually a second level difference which in this case would be how do we get from 1 to 2 we add 1 and from 2 to 3 we add 1 and from 3 to 4 we add 1 so we see all of these numbers are the same so we have a second order difference that are common right pretty pretty straightforward very easy to understand Right, moving on. So with quadratic equations, the uh, there is a nth term, which we call our, our general case, which is in the form of t of n equals to a n squared plus b n plus c. So this this is actually should look a bit common to you. Because it's, it's basically the same thing as a x squared plus b x plus c. Right, quadratic equation. But this just is a sequence. So what what we'll notice is that this is this is the the rule that it follows. Right, this is this pattern, this general case. So in the event when we have n, our n value, this is the number of the term, when n is equal to 1, right? and then our general term, because we're going to be substituting 1 into n to where there's an n, so 1 squared is just 1, and then a times 1 is a, so it will be a plus b n, but n is 1, so it will be b times 1, which is b, and c remains the same. Right? And then for our next term, when n is equal to 2, uh, we just do the same thing, but then we have 2 squared, which is 4. And then a, sta a remains, plus uh, n now becomes 2, so it's 2b, and c remains the same. Right? And then we can do the same thing with 3 as well. And then this becomes 9a plus 3b plus c and then let's just do one more be 4 so 4 squared is 16 a plus 4b plus c but why am I doing this I'm, I'm doing this because we'll, we'll notice the same pattern arises because how do we get from a plus b plus c to 4a plus 2b plus c well yeah we have 1a because remember there's a 1 in front so to get from 1a to 4a we just add 3a right and then you get to from 1b to 2b we add 1b and then c is remains the same so this is what we're adding and then to get from this n of 2 to n of 3, 
we are adding in this case five A's now. Plus one B because it's two B turned into three B. And let's just do it one more time so you can see the, the pattern. And to get from nine A to sixteen A, we're adding seven A's plus once again one B. So th this over here is our first order difference. So I'm going to label that first. And then we're going to look at our second order difference now. And what makes this um, quadratic is the fact that our second order difference is common. So to get from 3a to 5a, we'll add 2a. Let this B stay the same. To go from 5A to 7A, it's once again 2A. And if you continue this process, you'll notice that all of these terms here um, are common. They're all 2A. That's um, how we know it's quadratic. And this is this method here is basically how we're going to be determining our nth term whenever we have an, um, an example on it. And so, straight from there, we're going to be doing an example. So, the question is, it's a worked example. So, it says, write down the next two terms and determine an equation for the nth term of our sequence 5, 12, 23, 38. So, let's do it the same way that we did um, the nth term, the general form. So, we're going to write out 5, 12, 23, 38. Right. So how do we get from 5 to 12? We add 7. And then from 12 to 23, we add 11. And then from 23 to 38, we're going to be adding 15. Right. And then to go from 7 to 11, we are adding 4. And to 11 to 15, we're adding 4 as well. So we see we have a second ordered common difference and then now we need to um, answer our question which is write down the next two terms so what we're going to do to go to go from 15 um, to its next um, difference we're going to be adding 4 and then we know that 15 okay let's just uh, draw in some mark so we can just see our hierarchy so we're going to be adding 15 plus 4 is going to give us 19 so that means that we're going to be adding 19 to our next term so you just take out uh, your calculator whatever and we're going to add uh, 38 plus 19 it's going to give us 57 am I right? yes I think I'm right and then, <laughs> and then um, yeah, we continue. We now we uh, add to our next difference, which is going to be four to nineteen is going to give us plus twenty three, and then we're going to add uh, twenty three to our nick to our term. That's going to give us eighty on the dot eighty. So that would be our answers. The the next the, the next two terms being fifty seven and eighty. Right. Cool. Now we have to determine the equation of our nth term. So notice before um, when we when we did the nth term, we had uh, when we did the general case. Right. We noticed that our common difference was equal to two a. So in other words, that means that two a is equal to four right because 2a in our general case was our common difference so 2a is equal to 4 uh, this a being from our general form which is tn or our nth term that's what we're calling it so we're going to say tn is equal to a n squared plus b n plus c so in this question they're asking us to solve this um, 
this equation, you know, determine the equation for this sequence. So we can solve our a by using 2a is equal to 4. So let's do that. So we have 2a is equal to 4. We divide both sides by 2. Therefore, a is equal to 2. Right? So now we have our a term. Now we need our p and our c. And from our general term again, this first, because remember this is this is our n equals to 1 over here, and this is n equals to 2, and n equals to 3, n equals 4. So this first difference is 7, right? Realize we can only use the first one by using 3a plus b. Um, you can use, like, um, let me just go back to it. You can use this um, 5, 5a five plus b, but then you would be have to use the term that goes from the second to the third term. So that would be 5a plus b is equal to, and if we go back to it, would be 11. So in this case we're gonna in this case we're gonna be using three uh, a plus b is equal to seven. But we already know what a is. A is equal to two, so we're gonna substitute that in. So it becomes three multiplied by two plus b is equal to seven. So three multiplied by two is six plus b is equal to seven. Uh, we're going to take our 6 over, so we can get b by itself. So it's going to have b equals 7 minus 6, which is equal to 1. Right, so therefore a is equal to 2, b is equal to 1. So we just need our c term. And to get that, we're going to be using, using our um, n equals to 1 term. So that will be a plus b plus c is equal to 5. And if we do that last part, it will be a plus b plus c is equal to 5. But we already know what a is. a is 2 and b is 1 plus c is equal to 5. 2 plus 1 is 3 plus c is equal to 5. We take our 3 over, so we left with c is equal to 5 minus 3 and therefore c is equal to 2. Right, so now we have all the terms of our uh, equation to determine our equation so we know that t of n is equal to once again um, a to the n squared plus bn plus c. So t of n is equal to a which is 2 so it'll be 2n squared plus b is 1 so we can just write n plus c which is 2 right so this is our equation for the sequence it's always a good thing to check your answer so what we'll do let's check it for 3 or whichever one you want um, yeah, let's do 2 and then just to be even sure we can check 3 as well. So let's substitute 2 in. So it will be t of 2 is equal to 2 times 2 to the power of 2 plus 2 plus 2. 2 to the 2 is 4. 4 multiplied by 2 is 8. 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 plus 8 is 12. And that is our correct answer. Uh, let's double check with 3 as well. So we have t to the t of 3 is equal to 2 times 3 squared plus 3 plus 2. 3 squared is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. 3 plus 2 is 5. 18 plus 5 is 23 and that is our correct answer there we go um 
I'm hoping to make this video much shorter than my, my rest, uh, rest of my videos. Just, you know, because, <laughs> why not? Still very small channel, still uh, experimenting with what I'm doing. But uh, if you watch this, thanks for watching, I hope it helped. Um, if it did, be sure to like. If you have any other questions or anything that I could still help you on, be sure to comment. And I hope to see you in the next one. Uh, once again, thanks for watching and bye.